Hey, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Mystery Bob here, and I wanted to go ahead and bring you guys my comprehensive review of the mirrorless action video recording software. If you haven't seen my action overview, I highly recommend you go see that. I'll have it linked in the description. Um, and then so once you see that, please come back to this video because it'll give you a better idea of what I'm talking about. So first, I wanted to cover what I like about the software, and then I'll go into the few things that I don't like about the software. So first thing, uh, the design of the software is really nice. It looks very modern. All the icons here and just the complete UI, it looks very nice and refined. It's really clear that they actually, mirrorless, uh, took their time to kind of design this well with the user in mind. Next here, I like uh, all the different settings you have. So you can have different recording modes. It gives you four options. So not just gaming, you can also do, you know, desktop recording like I'm doing now, screen regions, uh, and then HDMI. So you have a lot of different options here, um, which I really, really like. And it's great to see all these different settings. Live streaming here, uh, I know I've actually tried to use this before. It works really well. Um, it allows you to cut out the programs, as I mentioned in my overview, such as you know OBS and XSplit, because you can do it all just from this uh, recording suite. Next year, audio recording. Again, I love all these different settings, how you can record directly to uh, the software here, and you can view it, make changes, stuff like that. Really, really nice to see. Benchmarking, it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, screenshots, again, you can preview, stuff like that. The preview function in the software is really great. I think it's really, I think it's one of the best features, honestly, that the software has. Lastly, the settings, I love how it has all these completely comprehensive settings. So you have general settings, you have all these different things. And the most important thing, or at least one of the things that I like the most is the ability to record your microphone into the separate track. This is extremely helpful when you're putting the uh, video into video editing software because you can change the levels differently of your you know, game audio and your microphone audio separately. So you can have your microphone audio up and you won't get drowned out by you know different gunshots and various other game sounds. Uh, and then another thing I really like about the software is all these different uh, hotkeys you can use. And one thing specifically is the ability to cancel the recording. So if you're in the middle of recording and you know you stutter, you say something wrong that you didn't wanna say, or you know something just happens that you don't want in the video, you can just click your little uh, hotkey here. So I have it set to end. You can click that and it'll cancel the recording. So you don't have to stop and then go in and delete the file. It's so much easier and it's a really great feature and I'm really happy that uh, Mirrorless included it in their software. So. Going over some things that I don't like about the software, uh, the first thing is gonna be in the video size. So you can't actually change it because I'm recording here, but if you use game capture, uh, the highest you can go is 1080p. So I would like to see that change to uh, go up to 1440p and additionally 4K, as I think that would add a lot of, you know, a lot more people would kind of be drawn to the software uh, because it has all the great settings and stuff like that. But the ability to record at higher resolutions is kind of, you know, a must have uh, nowadays because of all these capture cards and different new hardware that can is capable of having 4K, 1440p, stuff like that. Um, additionally, I think that if you had uh, the ability to do some audio processing that would cut out the need for different programs such as Adobe Audition. Uh, but although the audio recording feature is nice, uh, additionally in the settings, I would like to see the ability uh, to kind of mess around with the bitrate a little more. I know in uh, programs like OBS, you can change different stuff about the video, and I would like to see a little bit more settings, you know, just different than the bare bones stuff here. But other than that, I really like the software. I think it's really well designed. They even give you a little, you know, helpful, uh, I don't know, like just little tips here that you can use. And I think it's really nice to getting acclimated to the software. So in conclusion, my final thoughts, I think this is really great software. I think it's actually number one on the market right now, better than all other game recording softwares I've actually used. Um, so I'm going to continue to use this and maybe I'll do a follow up video after you know, I've used it for a while so I can give a, you know, down the line, uh, my thoughts on it. But if you guys want to go ahead and pick this up for yourself, I think that it is the best software out there currently. I am going to have a link in the description. It's like, I think they'll have a discount code in there. It should be mystery bop. Uh, if it's not, then I'll note it in the description. But if you use that link, then you can actually get a discount and then the channel will get a little bit of a kickback as well. Um, but I think that this program is 100% worth it and uh, it's definitely going to add a lot of a lot of value and 
uh, more refinement to your videos and content on YouTube. So that's going to be about it for me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to slap a thumbs up on it. Uh, thanks again to Mirrorless for letting me do this review. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.